Hello, this is Zach Cook, and this is my Project 3, Phase 3 for Game Scripting. Um, so the first objective of this project was to have a security camera set up in a room that the player could not get to. As you can see, I've got that right here. I'll go ahead and go in depth on how it works. So this little chunk of building right here does not have any way for the player to get into it. Um, however, we do have this little contraption in here. Uh, that's just to show that it is, you know, um, animated and constantly updating. And this is our camera up in here. So um, the way that this works is actually just like Unreal. You have a specific kind of camera called an RT camera, uh, which stands for real time camera. And it's going to be broadcasting everything it's seeing to a certain material um, called model slash render target. And so if you take a prop and give it that material, it is now going to be showing what that camera has. So it's the, the same idea of a camera broadcasting to a material and placing the material on an object. Um, there is the functionality for this is a little more limited um, in the Source Engine and in Gary's Mod than it is in Unreal 4 because you can't have multiple cameras broadcasting to multiple uh, materials. You only have the one material that can switch between cameras. Um, but other than that, it is basically the same thing. And you could even be moving the camera around and it would you know, be updating in real time really the same system just a little less functionality so the next objective is going to be our remote controlled robot go ahead and demonstrate that so I have this little drone that the player can control fly about inside of this room um, and I will go ahead and demonstrate how that works so the first thing that we have is this gyropod uh, it's this big black thing in the center um, and this comes from the space build enhancement pack add-on and what this is is this is essentially the movement of any kind of uh, vehicle you could create this is a little drone that has um, all, as you can see here, it has activate, forward, back, move left, move right, move up, you know, yaw, roll, so on and so forth. It has all of these functions that um, makes it function well as a vehicle, and then you just attach things to it, as you can see right there. Um, and so that is our movement, essentially. Um, and so I have, you know, activate is always on, forward is set to W, back is set to D, uh, so on and so forth with all of these. The yaw multiplier and the thrust multiplier are set to values in here so that it uh, turns and moves a little slower, so on and so forth. Um, the other thing important to know is we have a pod controller. So the way a pod controller works is... Uh, you have vehicles in the source engine. Uh, that's just an example one that you press E on and then you sit down in. And so these pod controllers link up to these vehicles. So this pod controller um, has all of these different inputs that it will be reading once the player has gotten into the vehicle. So I have this pod controller linked to this vehicle. So when I get into this vehicle, this gyropod, the, the pod controller is now green, it's now activated, and it's going to be reading all of um, the previously mentioned button inputs. And the gyropod is linked up to have its functions, its inputs, set to the gyropod's outputs. So when I press W, since I'm in the vehicle, when I press W, the gyropod, uh, the pod controller reads that W 
and then tells the gyropod to go forward, saying with side to side, turning around, up and down. Um, and so that essentially, with those two combined, we have um, a semblance of another pawn. And the only other thing uh, I need to go over is we have a cam controller which is responsible for when the player sits down in a chair it takes the camera um, and brings it to the player uh, however it is not quite as simple as you know placing a camera right here uh, you actually have the the cam controller itself can go anywhere um, and you tell it the vector, direction, distance, so on and so forth that it needs to have the camera at. And so we have the position set to this GPS chip so that um, the camera is always right here. Um, and then the cam controller itself has functions to understand um, the player scrolling in and out and so it, the camera always starts where that GPS chip is as you can see it is um, spinning around that axis but as I scroll out uh, it understands that and scrolls the camera in and out so with all of those three things combined the gyropod, the pod controller, and the cam controller we essentially have set up another little remote controlled vehicle. So that is the security camera and player pawn, the robot portion of this project. I'll be going over the timeline slash matinees and the gates in another video.